Hello friends. In these days of working from home, getting a stable internet connection is uh, everyone's dream. With an increasing number of internet users in the home, it is all the more essential that everyone gets great speeds for their devices, be it kids or be it yourself for many different reasons. The one problem that we all face is that the range of a Wi-Fi router is very limited and it doesn't reach to the nooks and corners of your home. One solution to that problem is the range extender. These range extenders can help increasing the range of your existing Wi-Fi network. So let's have a look at how you can set up one of these range extenders which is TP-Link RE200 in your home. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to start our range extender. We'll plug the same and switch it on. Now we need to wait till the power LED goes solid green. It takes a while before the power LED comes to a standing halt. And once it is stable, we will now go to our app to perform the further steps. Now we'll open the Tether app and perform the configuration. Once you open the Tether app, you click on this plus sign and you click on Range Extender. It asks you to verify that your LED status is turned green, something that we have confirmed before. We select that power LED is solid. It asks us to join the Wi-Fi network TP-Link Extender. So we'll join that network. So the system will search for extender. It may take a while, so be patient. You may want to have a cup of coffee in the meantime. So you can see that it has connected to the network and it is now trying to perform a login to that extender. It is asking you to create a local password. We'll just give a password over here. Now what we need to do is, we need to connect the host network. The network whose Wi-Fi range we need to extend. So it is now showing a host of networks. One of my network is a mesh network. I will join this as a mesh network so that I can seamlessly move my devices across different rooms without having the need to connect to each network different time. So once I select this, it's asked me the password that I need to enter. So I put in the password for the same. It is now asking me to select the 5 GHz network. As you are aware that this is a dual band extender having a 2.4 GHz and a 5 GHz. Uh, as you may be aware that this is a dual band extender. So it has a 2.4 GHz channel and a 5 GHz channel. We'll perform the similar setup for 5 GHz as well. So, after we have selected the IDs and passwords for our network, extended networks, we'll click on apply. We will fast forward this to save you the pain of looking at the screen. Once the setup has completed, it is asking us to verify the location where Rage Extender has been kept. For an ideal situation, the Rage Extender should be kept halfway between the device from which you want to access it and the router, the existing router. Now it is asking us to wait until all the signals turn green on the Range Extender. So that's about it. That's how we need to perform the setup. We can now see that the, all the lights on the range extender also look solid green, which means the setup is now complete. It is now asking us to join the new network. So we can see that we are now connected via this extender and this particular phone is also connected to this extender. So that's what we wanted to cover in today's video. If you like this video, 
do not forget to hit the like button and do subscribe our channel for more such interesting videos thank you for watching the video kal kuch naya sikhenge